This lesson is about arithmetic operations in Python. These are the same arithmetic operations that we have in math, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and so on. Let's see how to do this in Python. Let's print 5 minus 3. The result is 2. We can add 5 and 3. It gives us 8. We use asterisk symbol to multiply. It gives us 15. Let's divide 5 by 3. This slash is for division. It gives us floating point number. There is another division in Python called integer division. We use double slashes for integer division. It gives us integer answer. We have another operator called modulus which is a percentage symbol and it returns the remainder of the division. The last operator I want to show is exponent that means power. We use double asterisks to calculate the power. It represents 5 to the power 3 and it gives 125. So these are the common arithmetic operators we have in Python. Let's focus on augmented assignment operator. It is very useful. Declare a variable. Let's keep it simple. X is our variable and we set it to 5. Now we want to increment it by 5. We have to write x then set this x plus 5. So Python interpreter will add 5 with 5 and the result is 10. And then it is stored in the x again. Let's print it. And it is 10. This is how we perform increment of a number. Now we can do the same thing using augmented operator. It is shorter than this expression. So we write it as x plus equal 5. After this operation, this 5 is added with the existing value. So we should get 15 here. Let's print it. And we have 15. We can multiply and subtract values with existing value in the same way. Let me show you. Declare a variable y, set it to 5, and then write y equal y minus 2. Print it, and we get 3. Again, instead of this way, we can write y minus equal 2 and it gives us the same result. Like other programming language and basic rules of mathematics, Python follows the precedence hierarchy. Let's take a look at an example. Declare a variable z and set 5 plus 3 multiplied by 2 to the power 2. What do you think the result is? Let's print it. It is 17. According to the precedence hierarchy, first, this exponential expression is evaluated. It is 2 to the power 2 means 4. Then this 4 is multiplied with 3 which gives 12. And finally, 5 is added with it. That's how we get 17 here. Parentheses has the highest precedence level. Let's have an example with parentheses. Declare a variable p and set this to 5 plus 3 in parentheses. Then multiply it by 2 and use power 2. Print it. And we got 32 here. Here, first this expression was evaluated which is 4. And finally, 8 multiplied with 4 gives 32. So that's all for this lesson. 
let's go to the next lesson